Hi, in this video today, I would like to share with you how to get the DHT11 sensor value and display it on the microbit display and also send the data over to ThinkSpeed. For this, you will need a group Wi-Fi 8266 and a DHT, group DHT11, a Reka bit and also a microbit. The value of the DHT11 will be displayed on the microbit as well as the data will be sent to the ThinkSpeak as well. So, as you can see here now, the value of the current temperature is 34.07 and the current humidity value is 50. So that's the current value and the same value will be sent over to ThinkSpeak. The group Wi-Fi 8266 is connected to port 15 and 16. Meanwhile, the Groove BHT11 is connected to port 0. Now let's add look at the programming part. For the programming, I have used the make code for microbit. And for this, we need three extensions. First is the Recabit extension, which is for the Recabit board. And the second extension is for the DHT11 sensor. And we chose the first one, the DHT11 underscore DH22. And the last one we need is the ESP8266 Groove Wi-Fi. And once we have all these extensions, and we can start to make our code. And the code is quite simple here. On the start, we initialize the ESP8266. And also we get it connected to the internet. So in the next block, which is the forever block, first we initialize the DHT11. And also a few other things, the data pin and everything. And then we create a variable whereby we set the temperature to read the temperature and also for humidity to read the humidity. And then the, that value is shown in the microbit display. And also that value will be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak as well. For the ThinkSpeak, we need to get the right API key from the ThinkSpeak key. For this, we, you can refer the previous tutorial which we talked about the ThinkSpeak. Now let's look at the ThinkSpeak. So in this we have two different chart. The first chart is on the temperature, whereby the temperature from the DHT11 is captured in here, and the next one is on uh, the is about the humidity, the, the chart on humidity, whereby the humidity value is captured here. So the value sometimes it goes down here because the data lost. And, and meantime, it means uh, it always may uh, maintain at 50 all the time. So that's about the tutorial for today. Hope you gain something, and we'll meet in our next tutorial. All right? Thank you, and have a nice day.